What's up everybody? Welcome to this latest Funko News Brief. This video was recorded on June 17th, 2018. Now starting off with a focus on what is available right now, the Translucent Pickle Rick, which is a FYE exclusive, is available on their website and you can check for it in store as well. This actually became available right after I recorded the last video and I did note it in the description. I actually put a link in the description of that last video, but like I said, it just wasn't available when I first started recording. Also, the vinyl two-pack featuring Thanos and Iron Spider is available. Uh, me personally, I'm still not too crazy about those designs, so that'll be a pass for me. But yeah, just making sure I put the word out there. Deadpool on the scooter is also available, and this one I have seen listed on Hot Topics website. Also on Hot Topics website, I have seen the Deadpool plushes listed, and um, these are, you know, of course, of course, you can find these at different stores. They're not exclusives. Now. Barnes & Noble does have exclusivity to the Hermione and Ron Weasley variant vinyl 2-pack. And with this one, um, Ron does have the broken wand. And remember, there is a common vinyl 2-pack featuring the same characters as well. And there's also the Rock Candy um, exclusive of Neville, which is with Barnes & Noble. At Funko HQ, they have the Coming to America common pops of Hakeem and Simi. And they've also had the Elastigirl pop ride. So that basically means that over the course of the next couple of days, we should start to see these roll out to stores. Remember, um, you know, things tend to appear at Funko HQ first. And then like a week or so later, they start to hit stores on a nationwide level. So do be on the lookout for those. Um, right now, I have no idea when the Coming to America exclusives are going to come out. There's supposed to be two Target exclusives and a Funko HQ exclusive. But like I said, right now, I don't know exactly when those will release. Some other figures to be on the lookout for include the Target uh, Red Card exclusive Red Dilophosaurus. And of course, remember, you have to be a Red Card member. You have to have, have a Red Card with Target to be able to purchase this. At least that's the way it was online. But you may find this figure in store as well. So I would check around in store and you might find... I'm not sure if you'll find new figures. You may find returns. Just be on the lookout for that. Don't really, you know, give up on that figure. Um, do try to hunt that down. And make sure you ask employees about it as well. And then also here, the Gold Arbiter, which is a Best Buy exclusive, should be hitting stores pretty soon. Again, I don't know an exact day, but it should be out pretty soon because the other Halo Pops have already released. Also, I shared this figure with you all previously, this um, variant of the 8-bit Batman with Entertainment Earth. It's exclusive to them and it's also going to be considered a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I got to say this real quick before I move on because I sort of touched on this very briefly previously. This is something that kind of worries me. I, I really don't like the idea of figures that have already been revealed, even if they were leaked reveals, that... You know, they, they turn around and decide to make them exclusives to try to, you know, increase the sales. It seems like that's going to happen with some figures because I really feel like there are some figures that weren't originally planned as convention exclusives. But now they're going to be labeled that way, basically, you know, to try to help with the sales. So, you know, we'll see what happens in the long run with that because the official San Diego Comic Con reveals should start this week. Also, you see here from WWE, we have Asuka, and um, this is a figure that was revealed, uh, I believe, around the time of the New York Toy Fair, possibly. Um, it's been uh, revealed for a while, but now we know that this variant of her is actually going to be a SDCC exclusive, um, and this will be a shared figure as well. I don't know what store it will be shared with. Of course, once I learn that, I will share that with you all. So again, focusing on yet another San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but for this one, I do want to make sure I stress that in order to get the Conan O'Brien pops, you do actually have to go to the show that he has um, at San Diego Comic-Con. So yeah, this one will not likely be shared anywhere. They may do what they did last year. They did have a contest going on his website where you got the chance to try to win his exclusive pop. So maybe they'll do that again. But yeah, these won't be shared with um, like a major retailer. But uh, the they basically put out a hint about one of the pops and it's not really difficult to figure out because if you lighten up the image, you can see pretty clearly that it is Ant-Man. So yeah, one of the pops will be um, Conan as Ant-Man. And then also here, I, I shared the rumor of these before, but now we see these officially, the Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location Hero World figures, which remember these are exclusive to Target. So you see that they have a five pack up there on the right. And then there also will be that two pack featuring um, the characters Foxy and Mangle. Yeah, so do be on the lookout for that. Remember, again, that will be with Target. And then also, um, 
I believe this was shared on Twitter. Uh, Funko basically just put it out there that yes, there, of course, there will be more Steven Universe figures on the way. Not really a surprise, but I figured I would mention that for you all. I also mentioned previously that Betty Boop and Pudgy, um, or Betty, Betty Boop with Pudgy was on the way. And um, now you see that these are actually going to be Entertainment Earth exclusives and there is a chase variant now i'm kind of surprised you know the chase variant is the one that actually has the um red highlights going on to it but it's pretty cool and one little nice touch to it as well as you notice with the uh, chase variant that pudgy actually has a little um lipstick marks on him from where she she gave him a kiss so that's pretty cute there but um no release date right now this is not currently listed on entertainment earth at least at not at the time of this recording um when i learn more about that i will share it with you all because of course with it being exclusive to them once they list it, then we'll at least know the month that it's going to release in. So there's a Star-Lord figure on the way, and this Star-Lord um, figure is very true to the way that he looked in the comics. Now, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure if this is his original design, but I know this is an older design for the character. This is going to be a Halloween Comic Fest exclusive, which means that you will have to check with comic shops when this releases, of course, you know, around the time of Halloween. So I'm definitely going to check with my local comic book shop about this figure because I really do like the look of it. Um, last year, the figure, I believe, was... I want to say it was Emma Frost, um, unless I'm mixing it up with the year before that. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for this one. And this one, may, it may not be 100% with comic shops. You may be able to check some websites for it as well. Now, I shared already the um, 90th anniversary Mickey Mouse pops but there are some mystery minis on the way as well which i think is a good idea that they're doing this because then of course people get even more versions of mickey mouse and um yeah no release date on these right now but like i said i really do like the look of these i, I think they're very true to the different designs of the character one thing i did want to point out i said last time when i revealed the pops that i think they should do apprentice mickey with the sorcerer's hat there is an older pop of that of sorcerer mickey but I mean, you look at the design of it, I, I really think it could use an update. So that's why I brought that up again. I really think that this pop deserves an update, and I'm sure some people would really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into the rumor mill. There are definitely some things here that people have been saying that they want to see. So hopefully most of these rumors will pan out. For starters here... From the Metallica cover, um, and this is something that they use in their concerts as well, Lady Justice. So the um, Metallica interpretation of Lady Justice appears to be on the way as a pop, very possibly. Also, the members of the Beastie Boys would, could be on the way also. And um, I think that's very cool. You know, people definitely want more um, pop rocks, you know, pops, basically. More um, music artists represented in the Beastie Boys makes a lot of sense. So that, that'd be really cool to see. I th now, me personally, I got to say also, it would be really cool if they did sabotage um, variants of them based off that music video. Because that is a classic video and it's a great song. So... You know, that'd be really awesome if that happened, but no guarantee on that. Um, also from Riverdale, there's going to be Reggie in the football uniform. And then we have the other characters here based off of um, the dream sequence. Uh, Reggie might be from the dream sequence as well. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I don't follow the series. But uh, based off the dream sequence that they had, which basically you can see it's like the old um, Archie designs. They have uh, Jughead, Veronica, Betty, and Archie. Um, so I'm sure Riverdale fans will definitely appreciate those. Don't know if they're going to be exclusive right now. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, also, there is the upcoming Mortal Engines movie. I did see the trailer for it. I feel like I need to watch the trailer again to really understand what is going on there. But um, the characters that will possibly get pop figures include Hester Shaw, Anna Fang, That Is Valentine, and Tom Natsworthy. Okay, so be on the lookout for those, and I think those are very likely. You know, when a major movie comes along, usually they get pop figures. So moving on with some more interesting rumors here. Now, this one I shared previously, but I'm just bringing it up again just to be thorough. From Cowboy Be Bebop, there should be Edward and Ian together, and then also Vicious, um, which Vicious could look pretty cool. Um, also, some Full Metal Alchemist pops have been rumored previously. We know there's an Armstrong exclusive that's been rumored. So, of course, they would do some other characters as well. Um, so it could be Alphonse, Ed with a Chase variant, 
Winry, I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right, and also Colonel Mustang. So, um, yeah, there could be a, a full wave of Full Metal Alchemist figures on the way, with right now Ar Armstrong being the only exclusive. Also, I mentioned previously, so I'm not going to run through all the characters' names here, but I did say that there should be more um, Voltron pops on the way. Now, I know some people are wondering if it's based off the old series or the new series. Honestly, I don't know at this point. But one thing here that I think people will really appreciate is there's possibly going to be a 6-inch Voltron. And yes, I know some people would love a 10-inch Voltron as well, but I would say at least be thankful for the 6-inch Voltron if that does happen, because the original Voltron pop just was not well done it really should have been a larger figure also somebody um, asked recently because I did mention that there's the uh, possibility of Mr. Times coming along as a GameStop exclusive you know people have been asking are there going to be other bosses represented from Cuphead and it seems like there is going to be another full wave of Cuphead pops no surprise there because of the popularity but let me run through the characters here there could be Pork Rhyme, Cuphead in a Plane, Miss Chalice, Calamar Calamaria, excuse me, and um, Puphead as well. And then I also previously mentioned Mr. Chimes. So those are the figures that couldn't be next up for Cuphead. And then finally here from the game Don't Starve, and um, there's actually a follow-up, Don't Starve Together. It says here Pop and Buddy. So each one of these pops will come along with an item or another character. So um, it says here Wilson and Chess, Wendy and Abigail, Weber and Spider, and Willow and Bernie. So um, that'll be interesting to see though how those actually look, you know, but um, we'll have to wait and see, you know, how legit all these lists are, you know, just be patient and we will find out soon enough. So something I've started to do with Funko News is also to give you all some quick channel updates and um, I think I definitely need to address this. I really want to thank you all for the support. Um, we very quickly went from 15,000 subscribers to passing 16,000 subscribers. It, it, it kind of caught me off guard like I saw the number going up but before I knew it it passed 16,000 and I, I really do appreciate that I think this is one of the biggest leaps that my channel has had um, so uh, yeah I'm very appreciative of that and remember I, of course I do giveaways on a regular basis to um, really show my appreciation for you know all that the community has done for me as a matter of fact I just wrapped up um, the two giveaways and both of those winners did contact me both of those winners did get their prizes already and I actually shipped out another prize um, as well related to another giveaway I had um, going on. So yeah, I've, I've been keeping up with um, the giveaways and everything, but um, I did want to go ahead and let you all know about the next one that's coming up. Um, well, just give you an idea about it, but I'm not actually starting the giveaway quite yet. Just giving you an idea about it, but um, I am going to give away a $50 gift card um, and this is really to help you know at least one individual out with their shopping for San Diego Comic-Con shared exclusives of course they don't have to use it for that but I mean that's really my idea with it so um the course the giveaway the drawing is gonna happen before July 19th which is when San Diego Comic-Con pops should go on sale that's when they should become available including the shared exclusives because that is the first day of the convention so again that should be the day I would go ahead and mark your calendar and if something changes of course I will let you know once Funko puts out the official word but again somebody's gonna get a $50 gift card before that day comes along and um, I, I would really strongly suggest Hot Topic but if somebody wants to go with a different store that's fine but I just know that Hot Topic tends to get a lot of shared exclusives now like I said I'm not really starting to give, give away just yet so I'm not gonna say how to enter yet just keep watching the video stay tuned to my channel you'll find out if anybody asks about it ahead of time and that includes with private messages then basically you're taking yourself out of even being able to enter so please just be patient with me and I do want to say this as well I think you know we, we could make another big leap on my channel so especially if you all are liking the videos and sharing the videos and everything you know just getting the word out there about the channel if we are able to surpass 17,000 subscribers by the time of the drawing then I'm gonna have another winner and that person will get a $30 gift card so um that's basically two convention exclusives you know because they run for fifteen dollars each you know the standard pops of course you cover the tax and shipping but you get what i'm saying so it'll be a big help to another individual so that's if we are able to pass or surpass you know surpass seventeen thousand subscribers by that point so um yeah just stay tuned and you'll find out more about that giveaway 
Also, I shared this previously. I, I want to point it out again, though, um, that for the next Funko Pop Concepts, the focus is going to be on DC Comics. So please make sure you start getting your artwork to me. A few people have already, and I got to say, I'm already highly impressed. Um, yeah, some of you are very talented. I'm, I'm highly impressed with what I've seen already. One thing, though, please make sure that your name is on each piece of art that you send to me or I may not include it. I've already had one thing happen where it was very questionable. I think that somebody gave me some art that probably wasn't theirs, you know, so, um, yeah, let, let's be very careful about that. I don't want any nonsense, you know, so please make sure you actually put your name on your artwork. And if, if anything looks kind of suspicious to me, then I just won't include it because I really don't like plagiarism. I, I mean, I'm a writer. I, I've written in the past. I've written novels and poetry and I've caught people trying to steal my work before. So it's something I really don't take lightly. So please make sure you put your name on your artwork. And of course, you see the email address where you can send that artwork in. Um, don't forget also with Geek, Geek Girl World, their shop online, that you can use the code FMYouTube to save yourself 15% on each item. And um, I'll put the link in the description again. So that's going to do it for um, this Funko News Brief. Of course, the video ended up being longer because I definitely wanted to give you all those channel updates. But um, yeah, I hope everybody got something out of the video. I know it wasn't a ton of information, but I think the rumors at least are some things to get excited about. Definitely stay tuned because like I said, I really think Funko is going to start doing the um, SDCC reveals this week. And of course, I'll do my best to keep you all updated. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching and I will talk to you all again real soon.